my name is Cordell Glass, aka Hot Coco, and today I'm going to dive into how I used AbletonDrummer.com's live chopper device to compete as a finalist in the Finger Drumming World Championships at the Sample Music Festival this year. Uh, the live chopper was a huge part of my performance, and I'm so glad that I got to use it. So I'm going to break down how I used it, the way it played a role with my push setup, and how you can use it too. Let's dive in. <laughs> So first of all, as you can see, I've got two pushes. This is the push three and this is the push two. The push three is in standalone mode. You don't have to worry about that too much, but basically this is just sending signal uh, to a talk box that I'll get into in a bit. But the real magic is happening over here on the push two. I've got a big old drum rack setup that has 64 pads that I've been using. <laughs> pretty monstrous. But what I want to point your attention to are these orange pads down here. Now right now, each of these is just a simple ride cymbal sound for the drum rack. But if you look over here on my live chopper, you can actually map any button you want to trigger a live chop. But basically, I've got these four buttons down here triggering live chops. And those four buttons happen to be the same buttons over here. Um, you can look into a drum rack and underneath the actual instrument in a drum rack pad, you can find the uh, MIDI note that it's triggering. And what I did is I found the corresponding MIDI notes for this drum rack, which are these four. And then on the instrument for the live chopper, I made sure that those same four are mapped to these four pads right here. Uh, on this pad, I mapped the delete button. So I can hold this delete button and then press the one I want to delete. And now that one's gone. Um, and then on the second pad on the top right here, I actually mapped the delete all button. So now they're all gone. That's just in case I make a mistake during a live performance, which at the finals did not happen, fortunately. Uh, so really the routing that's set up for these is these four pads will record this microphone Right here, this is going into my audio interface, and this microphone, the routing through Ableton, is set so that you can actually record into all of the tracks in this chop group. Um, I've got a blog posts if you want to get a little bit more technical about how that routing is done and such, which you can find in the description. But what's really important to note is that I'm using four, you can use eight if you want to. And this microphone is routed into this live chopper group. So as soon as I start pressing the pad, it'll begin recording. And as soon as I let go of the pad, it'll stop recording. A little something like this. And now if I press that pad again, I've got a few effects on my voice. But yeah, the moment that I started the pad, and now every time I hit that pad, it'll happen again. And if I want to delete it, I can just hit one of my delete buttons up top. I like to use the delete all button. And there we go. So. To show you how I did this, use this live chopper in my finals performance, I have all of this set up in the background, and I actually have this drum rack laid out. But like I said, these orange pads are the ones that are triggering the live chopper, so I have to be really careful with those before I play. Over here, I just have a little synth that's going into a talk box, so that when I play this synth, sound comes out of this tube, and this tube is right next to the microphone, so Pretty fun, right? So since this microphone is still routed, I can be playing things over here. I had like a little atmosphere thing going on in the background. It's not as important. But what's the real magic happens is I can play, I can hold this button while I'm playing the push three over here and it'll create a sample. Oh my God. And now if I hit it again, oh my So fun, so simple, it's already recorded, like that's the whole thing. And now I can begin playing and use those triggered samples however I want to. Whoa, whoa. 